We're getting right into Season 2 Assassination Classroom. In fact, people are saying this season is what makes Assassination Classroom one of the quote-unquote best animes ever. That's kind of crazy to say, to say best animes ever. But in terms of what makes like this show on that level, I hear Season 2 is the meat. Season 1 was all set up, introducing all these different characters. And now the stage has been set. Let's pop off. Let's begin today's reaction. Was there a big time skip between season one and season two? Or was it like a back to back thing? Summer festival time. Okay, continue right after season one. Yeah, he has. What's a test of courage? Is it like when you fall on your back and you, you, you trust that your friends will catch you? It's like some leap of faith moment? Back of his head. Matchmaking? Koro sensei is about to ship a bunch of kids. Here we go. One boy, one girl. Ooh. Pants off of you. An interesting example. Koro sensei. Nice outfit. Cap, it's a random cave. Keep making this fanfiction up. No. Probably.ビアリティ出すための。え、一人になれば彷徨えるたましいに取り殺されます。海外に本格的かも。早く抜けよ、ナギさん。死ぬぐらい。He's <laughs> He's a literal fucking NPC, bro. It's like a boss scene. It's like a cinematic cutscene, bro. A new couple comes in. He says the same shit over and over. <laughs> it worked on them. <laughs> what? 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 What? Love scandal? I don't know if a teacher should be getting involved with, you know, like, you know, like high school students, middle school students, you know, like shipping and love. Scandals like mm, I don't know about that. Basically, you just want something to go start going out. <laughs> this is the true pairing, man. Karma and the poison girl. I mean, Karma only wanted her to be useful, to make weapons, like poison and shit. Oh. Huh. What doesn't inspire fear should be feared the most? I mean, that logic makes no fucking sense unless you know of Nagisa. Nah, I'd win. I don't know. Will there really be someone that actually kills Sensei by the end of the story? I feel like if anything, Sensei is gonna like protect the kid from something bad and he'll just go away or something. Or there'll be like a really heartfelt moment of someone has to step up and kill Sensei. Right, I'm just trying to think of like the end game. I still find it hard to believe that someone would actually kill Sensei, but rather this is all just a big social experiment and Sensei's gonna go off and protect the kids and end up it, it like it's gonna be some tragic thing of like Sensei has to like sacrifice himself for the kids. Okajima will be the one. Twister? Nah, nah, nah. If they made Nagisa a girl, that shit would ruin it. A lot of people also say, like, if only Astolfo was a girl, if only Felix was a girl. Like, their whole unique thing is because they're a trap. Without the dick, it just doesn't make the same. Genuinely. There's a fun drama video I saw of basically, I think it was a Chinese streamer. And this Chinese streamer was this, uh, maybe it was Japanese, but there was this streamer whose entire brand was being like femboy, trapped, cross-dressing. But then it got leaked that that person was actually a girl. And then everyone got mad. And they're like, we're not going to watch you anymore. This is not the same. It's important. 
The dick is very important. <laughs> You're replaying the scene again. <laughs> Terasaka's girl. It's, it's, it's Terasaka's girl, bro. <laughs> That girl's pretty cool too. Okay, she's an absolute fucking menace. Fun lore though, she used to go around as a kid just terrifying people in the streets like this. I like her, she's fun though. Goodbye Supernatural. The school shooter. No, that's our class rep. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. You're doing Megane this dirty. I don't even know who this character is, but I feel like this is an insult. At least you're having fun, Sensei. <laughs> and then I pop up and go, Hey, students shouldn't hook up, but then I turn a blind eye and say, You can go over there and do it instead. He has all these different scenes thought out in his head. Yeah, they're like what? Like 14? 15? Oh, bitch sensei. This is the real shit. That's so toxic, bro. <laughs> no, we all saw that. We all saw that. Down bad for Karasuma? <laughs> Everyone except Nagisa. Except Nagisa. I love how Megan is, you know, glasses just shine instead of being like a red dot. But Karasuma and Bisensei, I think that they're a pretty good pair. Right? Like, it's, it, it's, it's kind of like, I'm not going to say this is the same as like in Dandadan, where you have like the gal, the super like outgoing type and like the shy, nervous kid. Karasuma is not really that shy, nervous kid, but he's cool and kind of mysterious and keeps to himself. And then there's like a super like outgoing girl. It's a good contrast. Playing hard to get? Every man has always fallen for me and it was too easy, but I finally met the one person that does not fall for me. So this is a challenge. It's not like I care about him or anything. This is a challenge for me. Blush. Blush. And now she's falling for him. Yep, she's falling. Yeah? では、恋愛コンサルタントそうそう。ロシチシトキャンいいやてきな。うん。You you gotta dress up more like what? More like moderate? Just like hide and give it for the imagination? Would Karasuma even like that? Maybe. We'll see. I feel like this could be all about, you know, trying to be someone you're not just to see if Karasuma would like that. But at the end of the day, all you have to do was be yourself and then it's gonna be all good. I feel like something like that's gonna be the story. Yeah, more business casual, less street hooker. Hmm? Dainty lady outfit. <laughs> the titties. No. The dress don't mean shit. It's the size of her chest will make it into a bimbo outfit. Okazima chill. Okazima chill. I don't think he has a type, bro. He's too busy with his work. Is he a virgin? I bet he is. Bro does not have time for women. He's too busy with his job. Weather girl? News anchor? What would she like? What the fuck is this? Is this Power Rangers? This is your ideal woman? Alright. Oh, military potential. Military potential. Military. Okay. McDonald's. Attack on Titan reference. 
Nah. <laughs> Karasuma's the fucking, the, the, the fucking, what's it, what's it called? The, uh, what was the one Bertolt was? He's the Colossal, that's right, the Colossal Titan. <laughs> one day, I want to do Attack on Titan reactions. But I can't. I've seen, like, up till season three. All the mysteries and shit. But, like, one day in the future. I don't know. I, I still haven't seen the finale, though. I still haven't seen the fucking finale. Okay. This sensei feels like she's really being touched right now. And not in that way, but in a good, wholesome way. <laughs> Is this the only way you can occupy two seats? God damn, this fucking Lego crazy. Alright, go sit with bitch sensei. Where's she at? Oh, look at that scene. Ponytail sensei. New hairstyle. Hey. <laughs> Koro sensei, <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at it, bro. Koro sensei is just a ball on the ground. All of the kids are hiding behind the bushes. Wow, I wonder if they're watching. Oh. To set the mood. Oh, nice. This piano soundtrack is beautiful. テーブルセッティングも素人の店とは運転。ちょ、ウォッタファック。プライバシーも減ったくれもない野獣。ええ、先生ですかね、just <laughs> Now what? We just ate dinner in silence. <laughs> oh, we're talking! We better or the world's gonna blow up. Make a move. Say something. Now's the moment! Wait, backstory? <gasps> backstory? Wait, wait. No, 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 I was gonna be like, maybe Karasuma and Bitch Sensei actually made in the past before. No, 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 this is just her backstory, right? Her just living in, like, war-torn life. ね。Indirect kiss. Indirect kiss. Oh. Okay. Huh. Do you know what it means to kill? I'm not sure where she was going with that, but I thought she was kind of testing his resolve and how that may relate to their relationship and love. There was a bit of a flashback scene with her child when she was like in a war-torn environment. She did tell him that she likes him. That's basically a confession. Indirect kiss and a confession, and leaving him dazed may make him want to pursue. So I think, uh, well played, Bitch Sensei, for now. What's he thinking? Get flustered. <laughs> I fucking knew it. She's being way too fucking cool. I'm like, get flustered right now. I know you embarrassed. I mean, she literally did deep. French kissed Nagisa like multiple times. Come on, man. <laughs> Karasa even understands. <laughs> he's not even thinking. He's, he's not even thinking about Pitsensei at all, bro. He's like, this is a mission. I need to be locked in more for the second term. <laughs> That's fucked up. Not a single thought about Bitch Sensei here. He's like, this doesn't matter. I won't pay attention to this. The only thing that matters is my mission second term. He's locked in, bro. He don't got time for anything else but his job. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Denser than a neutron star. <laughs> Was she practicing a new move? Impressive. 
If Karasuma, Karasuma straight up could be the main character of some like uh, rom-com series where he's like a, yeah, straight up, he could be just a rom-com character, main character. Just a man that is so cool and stoic and mysterious, working on his cool job and all the ladies are just like, oh, I want to get with you, but he never fucking knows what's going on. All right, second term. Oh, sushi. Dad? Dad? Or with mom? Divorced. Dad. Dad bailed. Wonder what Nagisa's mom is like. <laughs> if you're free at 7 tonight, meet at the station. Okay, summer festival. Just my teacher. It's the last day of summer vacation. All right, let's have some fun. Yeah, where, where's our, uh, you know, fireworks popping off and everyone in different like summer festival dresses and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, this motherfucker literally just ate some sushi and bailed and, and he placed it on dad's plate there. This motherfucker, he's so cheap with it too. Look at it, he's like, yep, gonna eat some, bye bye. Bye bye. But that is pretty chill. Cheered up. Yeah, I mean, Nagisa used to be a super. Well, what was Nagisa? He's like this kid where he doesn't have any self love because no one would ever look at him. He's willing to just throw his life away. Sensei's kind of taught him more than that. Dad, right now, seems like a pretty decent person. Mom is kind of sus. Apparently, mom lashes out if dad doesn't tick her off. I feel like there's like an abusive relationship between mom. I feel like mom is the final villain. Wait, hey, One Piece. Luffy. Hey, it's Luffy. Oh, he was studying, huh? He is actually on the grind. He's not fucking around. He's not gaming. He took that one L during finals to heart. He's grinding. <laughs> sensei? This sensei, sensei? <laughs> we have a lot of friends now, huh? We should invite the three assassins, bro. The grip guy, the gun guy, the poison guy. That's right. When did you show up? Bang, you be already dead. He got shot though. That's a left side. That's his fucking heart, bro. What the hell? We were busy monologuing. Dude shows up and goes like this, but an actual bullet crossed? Rip bitch sensei sensei? No way. Reaper. Okay. Maybe this is actually the Reaper. I thought that the Reaper was going to be season one finale final boss, but is this finally the Reaper that he's been talking about? And what did he say here? Fear not the name of the Reaper, which may relate to what Karma was saying in the cave. What did he say? The things that you don't fear is what you should fear the most. Maybe I'm stretching right now with that example, but I feel like this is very important when he says, don't fear the name of the Reaper. All right, Summer Festival, let's go. <laughs> Okajima, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing with the camera, Okajima? What are you fucking doing, bro? <laughs> Nagisa should be in a yukaka. What's up? They won too much. They got banned. We're hustling. We are hustling. What the fuck is this? Gaze Jupiter. Looks like a Nintendo Wii U. Damn, he's He's gonna get banned too. Who's this kid? Is this a little brother? A random kid? I don't know. I've never seen him. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna eat these, bro. I don't know about this one. It's the kid. 
<laughs> this kid, I think it's just a summer festival kid just being shocked at our skills. I've never seen this game before, though. I always know about the fish scooping one, but this is like... You use a little hook thing to grab these balls out of the water? <laughs> I mean, Karasuma's not making a move. It's something can do whatever she wants. He's opening up. Firework. Boom. Make a wish. Oh shit, this is the uh, world elites. Okay, more money, bigger group. 30 billion. It doesn't matter if he increased it to like 100 billion. Make it a trillion yen. I don't think it's possible. Koro-sensei hustle, bro. I love how Koro-sensei makes an honest living. Yeah, he did show up and, you know, got some sushi and made it, you know, go on, you know, Nagisa's dad's bill. But he never robs a bank. He could easily just rob bank. He could just do whatever the fuck he wants, but he just, like, obeys the law. Bang. The end. And that's another episode of Assassination Classroom Season 2 starts off with some shipping, some pairing, some summertime romance, and uh Sensei and Karasuma, man. Ah, I, I think that like they would be a good match if Karasuma was more open to a relationship, but my man is too fixated on his job. And you know what? I think it makes sense. We're literally reaching this timeline of when March hits the end of second term, the world will end if we don't kill Koro Sensei. If I was Karasuma, I wouldn't think about fucking around with Bit Sensei either. Like, this is serious, guys. Like, this is really, really dire and serious. There's not much time left. And, you know, the stuff that we did during summer vacation wasn't even enough to kill Koro Sensei. It's looking more impossible. So I don't really blame Karasuma for being like this, but uh, who knows? Maybe something's gonna happen better here. Now, there was some Nagisa stuff being slowly introduced. We see the dad, but it's seeming like the mom is a very abusive parent. We know that Nagisa has no self-love or doesn't care about himself because no one used to care about him, I guess. That probably relates to mom, but Koro Sensei has kind of like helped him with that. So they're setting that stuff up. Irina's Sensei is seemingly dead by the Reaper. The Reaper finally shows up and he actually kills, you know, Bit Sensei Sensei. I don't think we've met this character before. Right, if we're trying to think about an existing character that we know being the Reaper. The voice actor is also completely different, so I'm not too sure at this point, but 07's for Mr. You know, uh Sensei Sensei if he's actually dead. And then just fireworks, 30 billion yen, more stakes are up. But I just feel like Koro Sensei at the end of the day will not be killed by a single student, but maybe he will sacrifice himself to like protect the world against something. That's what I'm thinking, but that's it from me. If you're still here, and if you- Oh, wait, wait! How about a situation where, because they know that the kids are so important to Koro-sensei, the world government creates an ultimatum where he's like, we're gonna nuke the world. Yep. We're gonna nuke the world with the anticipation that you will prevent this nuke, and you will now sacrifice yourself to protect the kids. I think something like that might happen, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.